Crazy thing happened recently. Um, a gentleman from Iowa emailed us, uh, our office, asking about the Nehemiah song, a song we had written uh, some years ago. And um, he asked when it was written, and, uh, and so we shot him back saying it was right around 2000, 2001, when we were just getting into what was to us then a new building. And, um, and so anyway, apparently this song um, had a big impact in this gentleman's life. He heard it on the radio at a crucial moment in his life, and God just sort of devastated him in a good way. Um, and, um, and so he was really interested in finding out about the song, and he heard it on a radio station in, in Iowa. And, and so he emails us about this, and, and we correspond and say, really, you heard it on a radio station? That's interesting, because we hadn't heard that, that it had gotten any play. We didn't release it. We're an independent indie you know, ministry or whatever. So anyway, he calls the radio station that he heard it on and gets them to, to go through their history and their files and so on. They have no record of ever playing a Nehemiah song or Lighthouse Praise Band or Lighthouse Rising or anything like that. And so um, I, I don't know how it happened, <laughs> but the moral of the story is this, you know, people talk about and wrestle over, you know, radio, internet, this and that. Um, God can take a song and he can get it where he needs it to go at any given moment of any given day in any given year of history and cause it to have impact. I love that about God. <laughs>